This is the Blue Nile and the dam that Ethiopia has built across it. It has the potential to give millions of people electricity to transform the country and the reservoir is starting to fill. This standoff is about water, history and politics. It's about who sets the rules and it's about how these nations can be. The Nile is a question of life. Needless to say, the Nile is as important to Ethiopia as it is to Egypt and the Sudan as a source of livelihood and economic development. No one doubts the wealth in the water, it's how you divvy it up. Let's begin with the country building this dam, Ethiopia. Work began in 2011, these pictures are from 2018. For Ethiopians, this is personal. They help pay for the dam through donations and loans, and the goal is to give electricity to more than 65 million of them who don't have it. Theirs is a grand ambition, but can that be done without creating poverty elsewhere? The dam is on the Blue Nile, where most of the Nile's water comes from. In 1929, Britain recognised Egypt's historical rights to the river and gave it the power to veto any future construction upstream. That deal was then reinforced in 1959, favouring Egypt and Sudan. The 1959 agreement between Egypt and the Sudan has apportioned the entire waters of the Nile between the two of them. With Egypt securing the lion's share, leaving nothing, nothing else. For Ethiopia. Ethiopia's blunt on this, calling these claims the most absurd thing you ever heard, all of which helps to explain what The Economist describes as the toxic mood in both countries. It says Egyptians have cast Ethiopia as a thief bent on drying up their country. The UN and the African Union have all tried to mediate, but there's still no deal, and Ethiopia's not waiting for one. Here's the evidence. This satellite image is from the end of June. Note the water to the right of the dam. Then this is mid-July. Ethiopia's confirmed the reservoir is filling up. Now, the key stumbling block to a deal is that Ethiopia is reluctant to put a figure on how much water it will release. Maybe, but Ethiopia knows it holds plenty of cards. The It's My Dam slogan taunts Egypt and suggests Ethiopia is rather enjoying the shift in the power dynamic. Certainly, Ethiopians are. Clips like this have been uploaded to TikTok you can see cups here representing Ethiopia, Sudan and South Sudan. They're filled with water. Then Egypt's share is poured out and the glass wiped clean. And surely Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed recognises that. He helped end Ethiopia's lengthy conflict with Eritrea by compromising. His political approach is often described by the Amharic term medema, which means coming together, rejecting dogma and promoting compromise. As the dam continues to fill, his commitment to that idea is being tested.